So when Netflix bought the rights to Seinfeld, I binge watched the entire series. I never fully watched it until then. My mom and dad always referenced it or he said it was like one of the greatest comedy shows ever. So I finally sat down and watched it and Seinfeld is downright hilarious until that last episode. But there are so many funny classic moments. I love that show. And just a little side note, I've never seen one episode, not one episode of Friends ever never seen it i know i know what does that have to do with this movie nothing except for julie Lewis dreyfus was in seinfeld i just had to do a cold open somehow here's johnny my mom always said life was like a box of chocolates expecto patronum You Hurt My Feelings stars Julia Louise Dreyfus and Tobias Menzies, and it's about a novelist's long standing marriage is suddenly upended when she overhears her husband giving his honest reaction to her latest book. Written and directed by Nicole Holocenter, if I screwed up that last name, which I know I did, I am so sorry. She's made one movie before that I have heard of, I just never seen, but walk in this movie, didn't see a trailer, had no idea it was an A24 movie. It was just playing at a movie theater near me and I was like, new movie. And so I went and saw it and I can tell you this, going in blind to a movie is just so awesome because you know nothing. You know nothing. I didn't see a poster. I didn't see images. I didn't know anything. I knew that Julie Lewis Dreyfus was in the movie because she literally was on the first name when you look up the movie on Google. And this movie surprised me because it felt so real. It felt so real. The writer and director of this movie did a fantastic job. Miss Nicole. I'm going to call her that because I can't say her last name. She did a real life movie. I know movies, entertainment, whatever, but this movie just, it feels real because Julie Vadrivis is a writer and she hears her husband say something bad about her book basically without him knowing she heard him and her whole life is just flipped upside down. That little moment is just breaks her and ruins her. It hurt her feelings and it goes through her life, her family, her friends, all set up to basically where Little things in life damage her, which is the truth. That's the best thing about this movie. There is no like big dramatized scene. There's no big Oscar bait scenes. This movie just felt real. Like, the conversations, these character moments, there's a moment between her and her son, which is so damn good. I mean, I feel like no one's going to see this movie, but I would love, I would love to see Julie Louis dreyfus get some type of just consideration in the award season. And her husband, so good in this movie too, because again, he's the one that says it. And then once she's completely messed up, he's kind of like, I'm sorry and like he hurt her feelings but then again it goes by it in real life how you and I would probably deal with situations or you and your loved one and because you're married you love one another but feelings are hurt things can be said and the best thing about this movie when it comes to reality the comedy there are some genuine funny moments and these funny moments feel real like it feels like real life conversation because we're always talking to somebody People always crack little jokes, always make fun of things, or just say things that can be a little funny off-putting. This movie takes reality and puts it on a paper, and it's written and directed beautifully. Now, I will say this, I'm probably not going to rewatch this movie anytime soon. It's not a movie I'm dying to rewatch again, but for 90 minutes, A24, once again, just producing another hidden gem movie that I cannot recommend more enough. I'm going to give You Hurt My Feelings a B+. I definitely recommend it. If you can go see it in theaters, I would say go support this movie in the movie theaters. But if you don't want to go to the movie theaters for this kind of movie, I definitely recommend when it comes out, give it a chance. Seriously, this movie is really good. It's really well written. I loved watching it. It's just a movie I'm not going to like rewatch right away, but I definitely would buy it. I would like to show someone this movie, if that makes sense. Again, I give it a B plus because... It's not a movie like, like it's going to go deep in my soul. Like it's not like relationship style where I'm like in love with everything with this movie. It's just a movie that was really good and I move on live and I recommend it. That's this movie. And anyway, you guys have enjoyed this movie review. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye everybody.